this is this is where we are now. Clearly, clearly, Patrick could benefit from trade with LeBron James, a rich and powerful country that has a lot of production and a lot to offer. So, you know, this idea of comparative advantage. How does Patrick have any comparative advantage? He can't. Right? Wrong. He can't. Uh, well, first of all, Patrick can definitely benefit. But the question is, can LeBron James benefit from trade with Patrick? How could Patrick have a comparative advantage uh, that might benefit LeBron James? And the answer is, he can. Patrick can benefit. There are gains from trade. Both people, uh, or both countries, can benefit from, from trade. Uh, now, just to quickly, I know, don't, let's not panic here. I'm going to put a few more numbers up on the board. Uh, we're going to think about the opportunity cost. So uh, we actually think of opportunity cost in terms of a ratio. Uh, and one way to think about it would be to put the number of baskets in the 10 hours over the number of uh, pages in 10 hours. Uh, so this is going to end up to be 8 and a third which means that every time, uh, for, for the same amount of time that it takes uh, LeBron James to type a page, he could be making eight and one-third baskets. So his opportunity cost of typing a page is eight and a third baskets. And over here for Patrick, we'll, we'll, again, we'll put the baskets on the top and we'll put the pages on the bottom. And... Uh, you know, this obviously quickly resolves to three-fourths. So, uh, for every page, excuse me, uh, yeah, uh, for every page that Patrick types, he's only giving up three-fourths of a basket. So, in terms of uh, pages, pages are cheaper for Patrick to produce. His opportunity cost of a page, of typing a page, is only three quarters of a basket. While if LeBron James, even though he's a faster typist, therefore he has a greater absolute uh, advantage, his comparative advantage is not in typing. Because if he's going to type a page, it's going to cost him eight and a third baskets. That's his opportunity cost of typing. Well, for Patrick to type a page, he's only going to give up three quarters of a basket. So I'm going to argue uh, that it's really to the benefit of both to have Patrick do all the typing. Maybe he spent all 10 hours typing away and that uh, the Republic of Brown James should use all of its resources making baskets and, and having a thousand baskets. And then they can benefit from trade. So uh, let's think about perhaps LeBron James giving up a hundred of his baskets. He's going to produce a thousand. So that would be his production. And he gives up a hundred of them. So at nine hundred, uh, he gives up a hundred and gives them to Patrick in exchange for sixty pages. And remember, Patrick is not the greatest country, uh, you know, so he's given up a lot. He's typed eighty pages and he's given up 60 of them. So he only gets to keep 20. He gives 60 of them to LeBron James in exchange for the 100 baskets. So on Patrick's scale, that's way up here. So, well, this is 60. So uh, 100 would be uh, almost twice up here. So that, let's say that's 100. So Patrick is able to, he makes the 80, uh, types the 80 pages, gives 60 of them to LeBron James in exchange for 100 baskets. So he's able to consume 100 baskets and 20 pages. Clearly, something he could not have done on his own. The only way he could he could never make he couldn't make 100 baskets by himself. If that's all he did, and here he gets 100 baskets plus he gets to keep 20 of the pages that he made. He is clearly better off from trade. He is able to consume more because of trade than he could have ever made on his own. No question about it. But LeBron James is also better off. Because over here, he remember he got the 60 pages from Patrick, and he gets to keep 900 of his baskets, because he only gave 100 of them away uh, to, to, in exchange for these 60 pages. And so LeBron James is also able to consume 
outside of his production possibilities frontier. He could consume 60 pages and 900 baskets. Again, on his own, he could not produce 900 baskets and 60 pages. So by trading, both countries, both people are better off. And, and what's amazing is that LeBron James is better off trading with somebody who isn't as good as him at anything. But then if you, if you think about it, well, well, yeah, LeBron James is a faster typist. Why would he get a slower typist to do his typing for him? But then if you really think about LeBron James and think about how good a typist he might be, he might be the best, fastest typist there ever is. But you know what? You would still advise him, spend your time playing basketball. That's where your comparative advantage is, is in basketball. Let somebody else do your typing. I would propose somebody to do it for him. So that's the end of the lecture here. That's this little example here. Uh, I think it's actually kind of magic, economics. We like creating stuff or consuming stuff we didn't make ourselves. I, I think it's pretty cool. So make sure you come to class, and I look forward to meeting you in person. Have a wonderful rest of your summer. Take care.